March 24, 1984. Director John Hughes chose that day to set The Breakfast Club, a day-long drama about five very different high school students who find themselves serving detention together in their high school library. The movie was our introduction to a group of actors soon to be called The Brat Pack. Anthony Michael Hall and Molly Ringwald, well, we already knew them from Sixteen Candles. In The Breakfast Club, they were joined by Emilio Estevez, Judd Nelson, and Ali Sheedy. And they were kids who learned a lot about each other and themselves when they were thrown together for that day. Before his death in 2009 at 59, Hughes made some of the funniest, most clever, touching, and commercially successful films of the 1980s. But I always go back to four movies when I talk about John Hughes and his brilliant approach to teen flicks. Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and Pretty in Pink, which Hughes didn't direct, although he wrote the screenplay. Of them, The Breakfast Club remains my favorite. From Simple Minds theme song, Don't You Forget About Me, to the stories of teens who find their own voices and means of self-expression in some very surprising ways. Eat my shorts. What was that? Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, mister. Oh, crushed. 30 years on, The Breakfast Club remains relatable and entertaining. And while the fashions may seem dated, the themes and the struggles are universal. Forget about you, Breakfast Club, never. For all you want to know about movies and to read my interview with Canadian actor John Kapalos, who played Carl the Janitor in The Breakfast Club, go to the Toronto Star and the Star.com. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't.